Sunday was the last day that my family and I were going to spend in Florida. That morning, we got up, boarded our plane, and headed back to Dallas. Although I had a lot of fun in Florida, I could not wait to get back to my Jeep. The day right before we flew to Florida, I was super excited to get back on the road and back into living my Jeep. It was the first time in a very long time that I had this much motivation to actually go back to what I was doing. And I had a lot of plans, but I wanted to wait until I got back. Since I was coming back to Dallas, I finally was ready to make the big announcement on what my Jeep's name was. We just got off the plane from Florida. We're back in Dallas, Texas, and I haven't seen Bonita all week, so I am really excited. It's been a whole week without her. <laughs> yeah, let's go kill some people. <laughs> Ever since I started this channel, I've been hinting at having a name for the Jeep, and truth was, I already had a name in mind, but I wasn't sure if it was going to fit the Jeep right. I thought of lots of different names, and I was really happy that I decided not to go with this name, because now that we've been through so much together, I realize that the Jeep really needs a different name. Not what I had in mind before. Look, there she is. So, right there. after a long time of thinking about it, and going through a lot of different names, I finally found a name that I think fits her perfectly. Her name is Bonita. Before I left on my trip to Florida, I drove like 300 miles in the Jeep and I found out that I have like a misfire or something. The Jeep is spitting really bad and I haven't done a tune up in a while. So I'm going with the basics first, changing out the spark plugs. Originally I had these Bosch Platinums in here cause I figured Bosch would be good, but I read up on some stuff and a lot of people said these Auto Autolite, these are the APP985 auto light spark plugs supposedly these are better so we're gonna gamble on it Let's see <laughs> yes that does sound a little corny to some but to me it holds a certain weight to it and I think that's really what matters now bonita in Spanish means beautiful and I don't know I just think it has a nice ring to it I almost named her hermosa but I think I need to save that for when we're alone I call her lots of things to wear along. But. Unfortunately, when I was driving to Dallas, she was being very, very cranky. And I knew I was going to have to do some repairs as soon as I got back. Thanks to my dad helping me out a little bit, we were able to get an all expense paid trip to Florida and also get an all expense paid repair on Bonita. Right. And after changing out a couple of plugs and replacing the wires, which has not been done in the last two years, she started running good again. I think everything's out of the way. This can only mean one thing. It is time to continue the journey. <laughs> <laughs> 